today I'll be showing you how to fix the ink layer um, problem on a Windows 7, which I'm like most people are having a problem with. So I just got an email from Smart Technologies because I sent them an email telling them that I'm having a problem with my ink layer here and that I can't make it to work on a Windows 7. But I'm able to do it on a Windows Vista and if I can get help. Now here they say, hello Hadi, thank you for contacting Smart Technologies. I understand that you are having trouble with the ink layer while using Windows 7. A lot of times these issues are due to the virtual tablet PC feature on Windows 7. Please follow these steps to, below to remove Smart Tablet PC and to fix it. So, step one, right click on the on computer icon. I don't have it on my desktop, so we'll right click on computer. And we're going to click on properties. Or select properties is what he tells me. Or she. Then you, then you want to click on device manager. Well, this one is really the system thing. Where you can see your 32-bit operating system of Windows XP. Or Windows, I mean Windows 7. Sorry about that. It takes a while to load, but then, well, if yours already loaded, please wait. But I just, like, came to my computer and then it told me new email and. Like, you know, those box that comes with the info, um, I mean, sorry, with the Outlook. Now, over here, you want to expand Human Inference Devices. See, over here, Human Inference Devices, you want to click on the arrow. Oh, uh, yeah. And then you'll have something that says Smart, Smart, um, what is it called? What's it called? Smart, well, it's supposed to say Smart Virtual Tablet PC. I don't have it because I already did it just to test it before I make a video. And then you want to right click it and select uninstall. And then you want to restart your computer. And if you do have a smart board, unplug it and then re plug it back again. So now let's test this. So now we'll click on the pen and see how the ink layer pops up. Now let's say hello. Let me put this down quickly. I can't record on my iPhone and write because I have a laptop. Inspiring of Dell. And now hello comes out. Now when we click on the eraser tool, it might be a little slow because it depends on your computer, but mine is a little slow because I have Windows blinds and everything because I do have a theme for Apple. It was on my last video and it's already posted. Well, on a theme to make your laptop or, <coughs> <coughs> laptop or computer a Windows 7 or Windows Vista, whatever, to look like a Mac. It can be on any device, but this is the way you can make your keyboard look like this, you know. But it's on the video, so I don't really want to make a remake. So that's it for the how to on how to fix fix it. And thank you for watching, and have a great day or night and Merry Christmas. If you had the same time I have, and I have here, five days before Christmas, December 20, 2010. Thank you. Bye.